Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using UI path. In today's session, you are going to discuss about application testing with data driven approach. So basically you will be wondering right, what actually is application testing, so how you have to utilize in our day to day projects, right? So it's very simple. So this application testing, which help us to understand your application behavior basically. So for an example, so you're going to log into the particular application with your username and password. So it should allow only the valid username and password to authenticate and enter into the home page, right? So if it's an invalid one, it should cut off the user and it should restrict to the user for the login, right? So it's kind of an application behavior. We have to ensure that whether the application is working as expected. So for this particular purpose, we're going to use this application testing and ensure whether the application behavior is working perfectly or not. So for this example, we're going to take the UA bank site. So for that, you're going to use the positive cases and negative cases. So this will be the UA bank login page. And then this is the documentation which has been provided by the UA pass. So you can just skim through this documentation, which will be helpful to understand how to approach these testings. So without wasting much time, let me quickly jump back to the UAPA Studio and start our decision. So let me go to the UAPA Studio. So this is the initial framework which you have set up already, right? We didn't made anything much, right? So what actually we have to do, so we just have to create a workflow and then we have to indicate all the stuff. So which, since we are going to do all these things in a web automation, right? So in the similar fashion, we're going to indicate all the stuff and then we're going to create the test case along with the workflow file. So let me try to do that up. So let me click on new and then sequence first. So let me name it as UA bank login and then click on create. So simply I just created an workflow now. Perfect, right? So what I'll do, I'll just drag and drop and then drop to the workflow folder which I just already created. Okay. Just to organize all the stuff. Okay. And then let me show you the data sets which I just prepared already. So let me go to the data set. So let me try to open as a folder. And then let me try to open this particular spreadsheet. So I just place the dummy username and password. So here the demo one it's an invalid one and the second one it's a valid one and the third one is an invalid one. So what I just gonna do with this particular data is, so I just gonna try to log in the particular UA bank site. It should authenticate only the valid username and password. If something gone wrong, so it's gonna restrict the user for the login. So that's the functionality we're gonna test on today's session. So let me try to close this up. Perfect. So here, let me open up this. So here, we are going to test all the stuffs. So which we are done already in the web automation. So I just going to go through very fast since we already know this all stuffs. So what I'll do, I'll just click on activity. Let me try to enable classics. And then open browser. Drag and drop. And then maximize window. Perfect. So after that we're gonna indicate some stuff. So let me drag and drop type into as well. So if you're gonna use credential types, then you're gonna use this type secure text. And then that's it. So what I'll do, I'll just try to copy and paste this URL. Before that, let me help you with the application as well. So this will be a UA bank application where you're gonna punch in your username and then password, click on sign, right? So let me try to copy this and go back to studio. Go here, copy and paste this, and then try to select your particular browser type. Don't forget that. So change to Chrome. Perfect. So after that, we are going to indicate this, right? So let me try to indicate all the stuffs. Let me try to indicate the username. And then let me try to indicate the password. So 
So after that, we're going to click on sign in, right? So for that, we need a click activity now. So let me look for a click. Let me drag and drop this click activity now. So let me try to indicate that. Perfect. So till now we just done a very basic step to indicate all the steps. So to pass the value over here. Okay. So since we are going to approach the data driven testing approach. So what actually we have to create, we have to create an argument. So let me tell you that why we are going to create an argument. So let me name it as username. And then a password. Perfect. So let me try to pass all this now. Sorry. Username. And this will be your password. Perfect. So also just try to ensure a stimulate or just try to empty the particular field. So in my case, I'll just go with the stimulate just to clear the catch value which is already there then perfect click on save so once you entered the valid username password so you have to identify something right so to ensure whether you are rightly logged in so we have to make some identifier correct so for that what I'll do I'll just click on sign in and then indicate some stuff so in the home page so I'll just indicate this welcome now okay so what I'll do, I'll just make an element exist. Da, da, da. And then drag and drop this element exist over here. And try to indicate the welcome. So you can take any UI. So in my case, I'll just take welcome just to ensure whether the selectors are right so if you need more selectors you can just open the explorer and then you can indicate more selectors so for me let me pick the welcome keyword as well so let me pick it up and then click on save perfect so let me try to create an output variable for this is logged in perfect and the next step what I'll do I'll just create an if condition to ensure uh, whether I just logged in or not I'll just make an a boolean key over here so let me search for if let me drag and drop the if condition so let me try to call this particular variable over here so which is his logged in so after that so let me make it as else so since we no need of a else if and then one more stuff i just gonna do over here which is out logged in result logged result and then i just gonna make the direction as out and then also just keep the argument type as a boolean now okay then click on save just try to minimize this up so after that what actually you're gonna do so you're gonna just drag and drop some assign and then set some boolean values over here just drag and drop and then try to copy over here as well i'll just try to call the variable perfect and then mark the value which is true the next one call the same variable and then mark it as false perfect just click on save so till now what actually we have done so we just indicate all the stuffs and then we can make sign in element exists and then we have made a boolean value setup so till now we are good perfect so let me just close this up now and the very next step what I'll be just doing I'll just go to the project what I'll do the next step as just right click and then click on create test keys okay 
just try to create test case so for this what I will do I'll just make test case UA bank login okay so here what I will do the execution template so here we have only one template which is test framework so we can use this test framework so where it will predefined it as all the setup and then kill templates so we can use this test framework so either you can set over here if you have missed to set then we can right click and set in your workflow as well I will just show you that as well just click on so as you know I just select make this no execution template so let's click on next so here the data source so here we can upload any of the stuff so we can click on file and then upload the data set which you already prepared as well as we can use this generate with the autopilot so we have two option over here okay so what I'll do I'll just help you with the two options so first I'll just go with this generate autopilot so just click on over here so what actually this autopilot will do so it will estimate our workflows and understand what kind of an uh, input is needed as a test input so it will give the username password so with the different different permutation and combination now so let me see what actually it is generating now so here you can see right so it has been populated the username and password now for us so with the different different possibilities so when I say different possibilities so in sometimes it didn't populate the username and sometimes it didn't populate the password so in all the cases it has been generated the test data as now right this is cool right so we no need to populate all the test data as well so but in our case let me go with the uh, different one so since I have just already created a test data so what I'll do I'll just click on files and then click on folder test data set and then click over here click on open so here you can make some customization so if any if you not require any test data so you can just uncheck this if you want all you can just check all, all the stuffs so in my cases I need all the things so what I will do I will just click on create so as soon as I do that so what actually it will happen so it will create a when so in this when my particular workflow has been taken place right so also it is asking some import arguments right so here also I will show one more thing before populating all the stuff so let me click on arguments so here you can see a username and password argument has been automatically created for me now right so it has been created automatically so what actually I just have to do I just have to pass this username and password argument which is already created for me So this is our column name which is in a spreadsheet that's why it is automatically populated so on the next one what actually you have to do so you just have to create an output variable for this since we have to verify that in a win condition or win sequence so we have to just create some variable over here so let me try to make it up as where logged results something like that click on that perfect click on ok let me go to the variables I just have to extend the scope so that I can just use in my all the sequences which is given then when so what I will do to verify this so this is our crucial part so we have to verify whether the originally the page has been logged it or not so how do you do that so we're gonna do all this stuff using the verify activities which is it a package of test So let me go here. Click on verify. So we have several activities, right? So verify uh, control attributes, all the stuff I just explained in detail in my previous videos. I hope you can go through all the stuff. So let me drag and drop this verify expression attributes. Sorry, operators. So what I'm going to do here? So I just try to call my variable which I just created. Okay and then so what should be the result for me true right so if it is true then it is logged in if it is not true it is not logged in so that's my case right so let me go to the project now at the yesterday I just shown you something called as execution template right so we didn't mock that execution template while we are creating the test case correct so if you forgot that if, if you are missed to do that so how to do that so what you can do so you can just right click your test case particular test case 
and then mark your execution template so you can you have something called as execution template right just click on execution template and try to select the test framework which is already there as a template okay and then click on okay that's all about so once you're done all with that so you are ready to launch your automation so let me show you the text explorer also so your all the test case has been stacked over here now so here the uh, first data is my name so jv and then wiki all this and the next two is an uh, invalid one it should not be logged in so let me try to run this and test it out now so let me go here let me try to run this now so it is trying to launch the ua bank site now And then it is tried to punch in the username password, but I was able to log in and then it got closed. So after that it's gonna try with the second username password. So here it is gonna kill the application rigorously. So what actually it means? So with the help of this, you can able to test the application be here. So when it's gonna kill it appropriately, when the next time whether it able to launch or not so all this stuffs can be tested over here as well so it punched in the username and password which is an invalid one so currently it is waiting for the home screen to identify with the help of element exists since it was not able to it was waiting for next 30 seconds so in your case you can reduce this particular time limit to the 10 seconds so it's going to launch in for the next username and password so gonna punch in the username and password now so even this is not a valid one right so it was not able to log in and it gonna close the browser and keep the particular test case as a failed one now so it got closed now so here you can see all the test cases so only the first one it's a valid one it has been executed and then rest two it's not to the true since it was not able to log in it was marked as a failed test cases so also you can see the same in the test explorer as well right so since it's an invalid the last two it got failed and the first one it, since it's valid it was executed so in this way you can able to test your application behavior whether it able to ensure the right username and password and authenticating the user properly and then uh, jumping to the site so all the stuffs can be validated using this kind of an testing so also you can publish this test case to the test manager as well so you have to create some projects and the requirements so all the stuffs need to be done over there so after that you can publish your test case so that everything will be seen in a structured way let me take that in a next different session so how to create all those stuff so once you're done with all this kind of a testing which i just already uh, planned to do now so i hope you like the session thanks for watching happy learning have a good day